Hello dear students welcome to practical biochemistry the topic is estimation of serum creatinine by jeffs method estimation of serum creatinine creatinine is a metabolite of creatine a normal constituent of muscle serum level of creatinine does not depend on diet creatinine is excreted by the kidney so that its estimation is done to assess the kidney function so estimation of serum creatinine is one of the kidney function test now what is the principle of jeffs method proteins are precipitated from serum using tungstic acid now the creatinine that is present in the protein free filtrate directly reacts with the alkaline picrate to form an orange color complex of creatinine picrate the intensity is measured colorimetrically at 520 nanometer wavelength so that is the principle of jeffs method reagents required for this method 10% sodium tungstate 2/3 normal sulfuric acid saturated picric acid solution 10% naoh and standard creatinine solution 2 mg per dl precautions picric acid is poisonous and sodium hydroxide is caustic care should be taken while pipetting and avoid contact with skin and mucous membrane now the procedure take three test tubes label test tubes as blank standard and test add 1 ml of working reagent in all three test tubes blank standard and test now add creatinine standard 100 microliter in the standard test tube add 100 microliter serum sample in the test test tube add 100 microliter distilled water in the blank test tube mix well all three test tubes keep it at room temperature for 10 minutes after 10 minutes read absorbance at colorimetrically at wavelength of 520 nanometer or on the green filter so here it's the procedure take three test tubes label test tube b for blank s for standard t for test now add 1 ml of working reagent in all three test tubes blank standard and test add 100 microliter of distilled water in blank test tube add 100 microliter of creatinine standard in standard test tube add 100 microliter of serum sample in test test tube all three test tubes mix well and keep it at room temperature for 10 minutes after 10 minutes read absorbent calorimetrically at the wavelength of 520 nanometer and take your readings now the observation od of blank 0.19 od of standard 0.24 od of test 0.28 the calculation part od of test minus od of blank divided by od of standard minus od of blank multiplied by concentration of standard is equal to 0.28 minus 0.19 divided by 0.24 minus 0.19 multiplied by 2 is equal to 0.09 divided by 0.05 multiplied by 2 is equal to 3.6 mg per dl so the result is concentration of creatinine in given sample is 
3.6 milligram per dl reference range men 0.6 to 1.4 milligram per dl and in women 0.6 to 1.2 milligram per dl so this value is higher than the reference range now the interpretation part serum creatinine increase in urinary tract obstruction chronic nephritis renal failure damage to the glomeruli prostatic hypertrophy calculi that blocks the ureters neoplasm compressing the ureters high value are also seen in early stages of muscular dystrophy or poliomyelitis but as the disease progress serum creatinine level falls in conditions of muscular dystrophy or poliomyelitis in the early stages we found high in creatinine level but as the disease progress further the serum creatinine level falls so in all these conditions we found increase in the serum creatinine level now in which condition creatinine decrease it is decrease in the later stages of the muscular wasting disease what is the disadvantage of the method it is lack of specificity only 80% of color develop is due to creatinine and raised by non specific chromosome that reacts with prickric acid like protein ketone bodies pyruvate glucose ascorbate etc it is sensitive to certain variables like ph temperature etc bilirubin is a negative interferent so this is the disadvantage of the zephyr's method if you like this presentation please try to share it with your friends batch groups and colleagues thank you so much everyone